What is up, comic fans? You just noticed the logo or the thumbnail? Welcome to the Legion of Comics and Kyle, Mama hey. Legion. So we just had a very <laughs> long, very fun day. We were able to do all kinds of stuff and things at the flea market, whoop, whoop. which is not close by, but it was a blast. So let's get into it. <laughs> Shout out to the channel sponsor, Big Time Collectibles. Be sure to follow them at their website and on social media. And if you need anything cleaned or pressed, be sure to hit up Justin's Comics over on Instagram. Hit him with the promo code We Are Legion, or let him know you found him via the channel. Take advantage on the special offers that he's running for people who watch the channel. Breathe. Now I will breathe. <laughs> and big shout out to the local sponsor, the Augusta Book Exchange. If you're in, <laughs> you if you're in the, this side, it was just already there. I'm, I'm it's usually just me <laughs> recording by myself. If you're in the Augusta area, bring her a Hall's cough drop and then stop by the Augusta Book Exchange. Yeah. So this was a fun day. We were able to get out. We sent the kids to Choich. And while they were at Choich, we went to the barnyard flea market that's in here in good old Augusta. It's a flea market you normally hit or miss. But this is typically a really good one. This was a good one. Yeah, it's all like boiled peanuts. The boiled peanuts oh, were so on good. point. They were amazing. But uh, this is like one of those like permanent flea markets. It's got like a nice structure and roofs and all that kind of stuff. And it's always a good flea market, but you never know what kind of stuff you'll find for your interest kind of thing. But it was solid. We uh, got there and they're like, oh, wait, I should record some of this. Yeah. And then you got yelled at. Yeah. By some cracked out lady who didn't she want me. She's cracked out. She's trying to protect her craft. She's protecting her crack or craft is what she calls it. It was candy. She was protecting her candy. It was right? a cute little way that what she did What did she call it? it? I don't remember. I give her her credit. It was cool. I didn't even know it was a thing until she's like, hey, hey, why are you recording? I'm like, because I can. Like, why, why, why are you recording my stuff? I'm like, because it's cool. And it was, uh, I was looking at like a toy, but on the table, the stuff I wasn't paying attention to was candy that she like makes candy bouquets, like little candy packets. Like, they look like gift baggies to me, mm -hmm. kind of thing. But there was a word for it, like Charudos or something like that. I thought of like anime, like Naruto or something. But we got some footage. We're going to roll the footage. Let you check out this flea market. It's fantastic. And at the end, we'll show you what it is that we picked up. Yo, it's Sunday. Me and the wife are at the Barnyard Flea Market here in Augusta. We never get an opportunity to get out and hit the flea market. And we found an opportunity today. So we've already found some cool like wrestling figures and all kinds of little knickknacks. A couple of comics, nothing major. But we're going to wander around, see what's here, and we'll touch back base with you later. get a pinata and a watermelon you can put the watermelon in the pinata oh all the hair bows you could possibly need yeah there's some bitchy people but that's fine let them be just kill them with kindness yeah. i'm like i don't even know what your silly stuff you're hawking is <laughs> yeah. do, 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 do. all kinds of cool stuff so yeah. she's arguing me i think these are the ones these are the one. ones So Kyle has found a new book bag. Now we can uh, successfully buy stuff and have something to put it in because we ain't carrying nothing. Oh, this stuff is super cool. Yeah. These are really wild. Oh, yeah. Some really cool stuff. Got plenty of belts, hats, jackets, candy. A lot of like make your own jewelry stuff. Yeah, leather does smell fantastic. Chickens, weren't they? No, there was bunnies over there and you wouldn't let me pet them. Yeah, but you got a book bag, you got a pair of sunglasses, you wouldn't let me get my sunglasses. Absolutely not. We are not skiing, we are not in the Alps. And we so are if I can't be macho man, if I can't be macho man Randy Savage, you can't go play with the bunnies that we're not buying. <laughs> you know God, it's so bright. You know what I can't even it is, my sunglasses. It's so bright. <laughs> here we go, found a toy stand. I'm about to dive around in here. We don't need a baby crib. 
We don't have a baby. We could. Practice makes perfect. Some cool toys. Look at that, all the good stuff out here close to the walkway. Cool Batman. I'm not seeing that jump out. The group planners, it seems like a no-brainer. But now that when you see it, that's super cool. Exact same TV that Mima had little. <laughs> yes, and it works. <coughs> That's amazing. Should, they're watching the Chronicles of Riddick. You can't deny like the coolness of VHS quality. Yeah. Some cool Star Wars figures. Star Wars on my jam, but I bet there's probably some good stuff in there. Some Star Trek, and micro machines. Finn's loving those things. Mm-hmm. what Finn would want, a legit big Godzilla. Worth it. Black Adam, yeah. A plus light year. Looks like newer toy overstock kind of stuff. Alright, we just made it down another aisle. So we're about halfway. I found like one table that had single comics spread out, laid out. And I saw it had second and Charles stickers on it. Just dollar books. Found some cool toys, nothing that jumps out. I'm just looking for that that old thing, like the Sting figure. Yeah. I'm probably going to end up getting that if I don't find nothing else. I don't want to leave empty-handed. You're sitting here with these awesome sunglasses and this new sunflower bag. I'm walking around with the sun in my eyes and nothing in my hands. It ain't right. It ain't right. Kyle, do you want to get gold teeth over here? No. No? Found some of the Ultimate, ultimate Spider-Man Marvel team-up, which that's the first appearance of the... Uh, Sam Jackson, Nick Fury, but those are all the reprint ones. They're not the first print. Let's see what else found? Mugs, movies. Looks like we got more movies for days. These little printings of signatures, but not real signatures. More movies and mugs. Golden Eye and Mario Kart. X-Men. Massive video game and movie setup. That was actually that store that Pops was talking about that used to be here in town that shut down in COVID, so they still set up here. I know comics or toys added, it's just their video games and movies. Trading cards for days, that's super dope. We got some Migos back there, but they're the modern Migos. So this might be more of the store. Yeah, this is definitely more of the store. Because I remember when he got all these cards in. Little WCW, Savage Dragon. Girls game for the Atari? That doesn't even make sense. Blade Runner. Went through those. See some cool X Files. Some backwards. Score, absolute score. Just found like a master class setup for a flea market. Like this is. And the prices are amazing. You got the first Ninjack right there for 50 bucks. Comic packs if you want to get some stuff in the read. Got a huge slab wall. Up. Definitely hitting on fair market value on this stuff. Like, definitely not busting no heads. Some fantastic prices. Look at these. Got, got some awesome EXO there. You know what I'm talking about? Got some power pack for Mr. Becker. First Kyle Rayner's Green Lantern. Dude, you got some great stuff in here. You got back issues. Bunch of great raw, raw keys, Marvel, DC, Indies, they, they done got it all. This is the spot right here. I'm about to spend a little bit of time flipping through some of this stuff and see if I can find anything. Hell yeah. Jesus Christ. Can you see anything? No, I can't. It's <laughs> super bright. But we made the rounds. We're coming back down, hitting some of the spots we saw. 
that we were into. Stuff in my book bag. Yeah, I found some books. Show you at the end of the video here what <laughs> what we picked up, what we found. But uh, yeah. So now we are at the end, and she has no clue what happened because no. this is how edited videos work. <laughs> so for us, no we time just has at passed. The last part. <laughs> yeah. So for us, no time has passed. For you watching, y'all just saw the flea market. So you see, it was really cool. Did they? They did. I didn't see them see the flea market. You did not see them see the flea market. You cannot see that unless you watch them from their bushes. Um, but uh, we got a few cool things. We didn't go crazy. Y'all was so excited to find that comic stand there. That guy was fantastic, and I want to go ahead and give a big shout out to him. It's a uh, Fall Line Comics. His name was CJ. Let's see if he was you're super nice. Yeah, if you know what I'm saying, like he does uh, Monday through Friday, Saturday Sunday appointments. He does buy, sell, trade, appraises. Uh, he's got the lo his phone number, his email address, and his location. I mean that that collection was worth driving to if you're not too too far off. So there's his information right there. We can check out all this stuff. I mean, you saw from the video, he had solid stuff from like a huge wall of slabs, even slabs on the outside, key wall, like his back issue stuff was fantastic. I went back after we walked the whole place, we went back through and uh, that's a questionable picture. What is that? It's the, the <laughs> artist guy that was packing oh, yeah, up that's right. to go to Savannah. We went back through and we, uh, I flipped through the back issue bins or yeah. And I found, that's where I found some stuff. I didn't go crazy or anything, but, uh, I couldn't leave without getting something from him. It was fantastic. So first off, I hate carrying stuff when we go places. So our idea was we're just going to walk the place and then buy on the way back. And then she found this bag, which is fantastic. She uh, hijacked Monkey's little book bag during Master's Week and figured out she likes these little bags. So she found this really cool one. She's a sunflower girl. So she got one. Are those your nails? Yeah. What else did you get? The bag, peanuts and lemonade was clutch. Yeah. Like you, you can go there just for that. And she found some stuff for her and Monkey. Well, the little color street nails. This lady was like closing out her little thing that she did. So her I got side, these for her Monkey. Little side hustle. Because what little girl doesn't love glitter? You know she's gonna pick them off five minutes after mm -hmm. I put them on. It's fine. It's fine. It'll be fun. And I just. Because every now and then I do them and it's fun. Yeah. And so for the books, I actually, she's just being hurt. <laughs> oh, they're on the trampoline. There's water. Uh, so for uh, books, I I just showed y'all in that little short that I did from where I went to Dead Media. And I, I'll show you here where I picked it up. I grabbed one of these Exo Manowar number zeros. This is the gold variant. In, uh, I think it was a retailer incentive for Exo number zero. And then I picked up his first appearance from Dead Media. And it got me wanting, like, dude, I, I, I want the other foil now. And I found it there for uh, $4. The It's also known as the, uh, what is it called? The ivory era, where this is like ivory color instead of white. But uh, there it is, the standard one. They had this two different graded copies, one of CBCS, one CGC. But I found the wall one for $4. And it looks like I'm like, I'm going to get the wall one. And then you know me, I'm always picking them up whenever I found them. I found yet again another copy of Tour on Dinosaur Hunter. And if you didn't watch that short from yesterday, I picked up two more copies yesterday. Uh, I'm going to pick these up whenever I run across them. And I need to go through and look at all of them to see if I have the uh, variant one of that. I don't think I do yet. I found Night Thrasher issue number one. This is going to be going back out to the community. Shout out, Beckerman. So I just, man, I don't know what it is. I was in a foil mood. And then I actually found a legit book I needed for my Hulk run. It's very, very few books that I'm missing in that Hulk run now. And uh, Incredible Hulk goes wild. The Battle of the Brutes. No, Once I'm more, missing the missing link. So issue number 179. So that was great. I'm, I'm like super few issues that I'm no. missing left from that run. And then uh, I was talking to the guy CJ up there and he gave me a great deal on it. And I also left with Howard Chaykin's Black Hawk, the complete set, uh, one through three. So I'm going to have to take these out to the comic room because uh, ever since I was a kid growing up, I mean, I can't, I don't remember what year this is. Couldn't tell you off the top of my head. But uh, this poster for this, this advertising poster was in shops. My dad has had it up in the comic room here since uh, since back in the day. But uh, So that's awesome. Howard Chaykin's fantastic. So big thank you to CJ. And again, like uh, if you guys didn't get an opportunity to get into the Augusta area, check him out. Check out uh, his shop online otherwise. Definitely a good time. News say we're beat. We're beat. Beat. Yeah. We left it like uh, 
like 10 this morning. We're talking about with cool artists. And we just got home. Cool artist, shelter, bottom gallery, power seven ski Brewster. Seven ski Brewster. This guy had some fantastic art pieces up. He was getting ready to head to uh where is he going? Savannah? Savannah. He's going to Savannah. There's all the information about yeah, like this. It was super cool. Yeah, wait, look at that. So there's his, yeah, if you get a chance, check this guy out. I'll try to remember to put some links in the description to make it easier so you don't necessarily have to just type it all in. But yeah, but super cool guy. Phenomenal artwork. Highly suggest checking it out. I did what? You are green and mommy's blue. I am green and mommy's blue. What color are you? White. What color are you? Pink. Pink? High five. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, this video will be going out on Wednesday and Sunday right now. If you're a channel member, you've already watched this early. But a huge shout out, a huge thank you to all the subscribers. Uh, at the time of filming this, I think I'm 29 away from 2,500. 2.5 thousand subscribers. I've already been picking up books to do a giveaway celebration. I'm not going to do as big and wild of a thing as the 2K or the 3K. It seems like they're coming fast now. Like I've been getting a lot of new eyes and traction on the channel. So thank you to all my old time subscribers, new time subscribers, and definitely to the channel members. But be on the lookout. Turn on the notification bell. Live stream celebration and getting back to the subscribers coming up soon. So until next time, as always, I'm Mark. That's Kyle. And we are Legion. Boom! <laughs>